They started dating sometime in 2007, but the relationship moved very fast. He proposed to her less than a year later on her 27th birthday. This was in September 2008. Unfortunately, Jennifer's mom, brother, and nephew were killed a couple of weeks after Jennifer got engaged, and she had to lean on David for support. Luckily for her, he was more than willing to offer her the support that she needed. He was a very thoughtful partner and would even plan trips for them together so that she could take her mind off of the horrible situation. Jennifer got pregnant later that year and in 2009 she gave birth to their son David Jr. By 2010 they had been engaged for more than two years and people had started wondering when exactly they were going to get married. Insiders revealed that they had planned to get married in 2010 but they decided to delay the wedding even more. And then they waited two more years. By 2012 the rumors had grown so strong that David had to come out to claim that they had already chosen a wedding date but they were keeping it private. Jennifer even claimed that she had picked out a dress that was going to be a showstopper. They both claimed that the reason they delayed the wedding so much was that they were waiting for justice for the murder of Jennifer's mom, brother, and nephew. They said that was something that was hanging over our hearts for so long and now we feel like we can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Everything is good now. But by 2014, there was still no word about their wedding and at this point, it was kind of clear that things had gone downhill between them. David was absent at some pretty big moments in Jennifer's life and career. It was kind of clear at this point that there was something wrong with the relationship, but they kept denying it. They kept up the charade until 2017 when they couldn't pretend anymore. They announced their breakup in 2017 and it wasn't long before the breakup got messy. Jennifer filed an order of protection against David and she was able to get full custody of their son. She claimed that on one occasion, he had pushed her while she was holding their child and she also claimed that he was physically and emotionally violent toward her. Uh-uh. David denied these allegations and the charges against him were cleared when the courts couldn't find any evidence against him. But the story got messier when David spilled the tea to TMZ that the reason for the breakup was that Jennifer had cheated on him with music producer Molly Music. Uh, Jennifer then accused David of leaking stories about her to the press to tarnish her image and she filed for a gag order against him, which the courts granted. They had a very messy breakup where they both dragged each other in court. They eventually came to an agreement regarding custody, child support, gag order, and other stuff like that. The relationship started so well, but it got toxic and the breakup was just as toxic. So when I said that Jennifer's relationship before Common was messy, girl, I was not kidding around. But she moved on from that relationship and took her time to heal before entering into another relationship. It took her about five years before she entered into the dating world and she decided that Common was the perfect man man for her to try her luck with. But the thing is, people are not exactly sure about this either because, well, Common has had his own fair share of red flags as well. There are concerns that he might be love bombing her. 